Hi, in this clip we will discuss independent random variables in more detail. Okay, um, we have discussed that uh, from linearity of expectation we know that for any random variable x and y, uh, no matter if uh, they are independent or not, they are whatever, uh, anything, okay, any pair or any set of random variables uh, the expectation of the sum is the sum of the expectation so this is linearity of expectation and we use it um, we always use it right and and it's really helpful when we want to compute uh, the expectation of some large uh, uh, some complicated uh, random variables by breaking down uh, that random variable into smaller ones so our question is uh, is about uh, how about the product Okay, so let's take a look at a few examples. Okay, so in example one, we toss two fair coins, and let uh, the first random variable x be ten if the first coin turns up head, and zero otherwise, and the second uh, random variable y is is going to be ten as well if the second coin turns up head. Okay, so we have two fair coins and we we toss it uh, independently. So these two random variables uh, essentially are independent. Okay, so what's um, the expected value of x, expected value of y, and the expected value of the product? So for the expected value of x, so let's calculate it here. Uh, it's going to be, so it's, it's going to be uh, 0 with probability 1 half, right? It's if you get the tail, right? So, so 0 times 1 half. And it's going to be one uh, ten with another probability of one ha one half, so the expected value of x is five. Uh, similarly, the expected value of y can be computed uh, similarly, so it's again also five, right? Now let's compute the expected value of x times y. Okay, so we know that. Um, x is going to be 0. If x is 0 or y is 0, then the product is going to be 0. So we only need to concern the case when both of them are non-zero, okay? which are when they both become uh, 10, right? So in that case, uh, that case occur with only probability when x is uh, 10, right? And when y is 10, right? In other case, where any of them are zero, then you get the zero, and the average over zero is going to be zero. So we just we we'll ignore it for now. Uh, now x times y is ten times ten, and it's occur with prob these probabilities, okay? And it's going to be a hundred times. So when is this happen? Okay, so this this happens when the first coin turns up head and the second coin turns up head as well, but they are independent. So this probability equals the probability that because they are independent, right? So let's do it uh, formally first. So we can uh, factor out the product, the, the, the probabilities, right? Because, because they are independent, OK? And this occurs with one half, probably one half, and this with probability another uh, one half. So you're going to get 100 times one half times one half and you get this to be 25 and clearly uh, if you look at this this is 5 times 5 and you get uh, 25 here so there are uh, in this case uh, in this example expected value of x times y equals expectation of x times the expectation of y okay so let, let's look at another case now we have one fair coin and we have two random variables and they are essentially the same so we let x to be 10 and y be 10 if the coin turns up here okay so what's the expected value of x it's the same right so with probably probably one half you get zero when another one half you get 10 okay So the expected value of x is 5. All right, so now expectation of y, because they are essentially the same random variable, so we know that expected value of y is also 5. 
Now let's compute the expected value of x times y. Okay. Again, uh, they, they're going to be uh, non-zero when both of them are non-zero, and that's occur with this probability, probability x equals 10 and y equals 10. Right. And in that case, x times y is 10 times 10, so it's going to be 100. Okay. So what is this probability? If you look at this, we have just one fair coin, and both of them become tens at the same time with when this fair coin be turns up head, right? So you get that it's going to be 100 times 1 over 2, 1 half. So this is uh, 50. Okay. So in this case, uh, uh, expectation of x is 5, expectation of y is, is 5, and but the product, uh, the expectation of the product is uh, 50. If you multiply this, you get 25. So this is not equal to 25, which is the expected value of x times the expected value of y. Okay, so in this case, it's not equal. So th let's look at an the last example. Okay, so I toss one another one fair coin, but let's x equals 10 if it turns up head, and it's let's y equals 10 if it turns up tail. Okay. Again, with the same analysis, we know that expected value of x is 5, and expected value of y is also 5. Now, what's the expected value of x times y? Okay. So if you look carefully, you can see that um, when x is 10, y is 0. When y is 10, x is 0. So uh, the expected value of the product is always going to be 0, right? And again, in this case, it's not equal to expected value of x times expected value of y, right? Because they're always zero, okay? So um, in many cases, uh, you cannot say that the expected value of x times y equals the expected value of x times the expected value of y, right? But in many cases, in some cases, you can, okay? So uh, re let's review the de definition of independent random variables. Okay, so we're going to say that random variable x and y are independent if for any value of i and j, this is true. And this implies, again, if the uh, probability that, say, y equals j is non-zero, is greater than zero. This implies that the probability that if you y divide everything by a uh, probability of y e equals j, so this implies that probability of x equal i given y equals j equals the probability that x equals i. Okay, so this means like knowing that y equals i j doesn't change any probability of x being i, right? So that's this definition. Um okay, in this case uh you might be able to say something, okay? So let's look at the product of independent random variables. Okay, so with this, um, uh, we, we want to compute this. So this is equal to. Uh, so we can find it, this expectation by uh, iterate o over all possible value i and j of x and y. So we we think about the probability that uh, x equals i and j equals y. Uh, j uh, y equals j, and in this case, okay, this case occur with probability this much, and then the thing we are interested in the product has this value, okay. So by definition, this is this, okay. But from because we know that x and y are independent, we can rewrite the thing this way, so you get x i times j and since uh, they are independent so you're gonna get this to be probability x equals i and times the probability of y equals j okay so this because x and y are independent this is not true in general okay now, in this case, we can manipulate the sum this way. So basically, if you look at this, uh, we can move j inside, move j to this, and 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 note that uh, i 
it's independent of j, so I can move uh, factor out the i here, and also the probability of x uh, equals i here. So I'm going to move j here, and I'm going to move uh, probability of x equals i, and this i term in front of this sum. So I get this uh, sum over i, i times probability of x equals i times okay this sum over j of j times probability of y equals j okay so the sum looks basically like this okay and now i can i if you look at this this is the definition of the expected value of y right so I, I change this to expected value of y and then uh, you can see that I can factor it out outside right so um, so this is uh, let, let me write it quickly so it's going to be the sum over i it's going to be the sum over i okay of this uh, i times probability of x equals i times this is going to be the expected value of y, right? But this is the constant, so I factored it out. So it's going to be expectation of y times this sum over i, i times probability that x equals i. But this is the expectation of x, so we end up with expectation of y times expectation of x in the end as we require. Okay, so for the product, we know that if they are independent, we have that uh, this x times expectation of x times y is the expectation of equals the expectation of x times the expectation of y. Okay, all right. I'll see you in the next segment.